Welcome to another version of Maker's Creative Collab, the collaboration of creatives that is put together by PM Artist Studio. They have given us a theme, ornamental, and a list of items that we can choose from, but we must choose three. I am going to be utilizing a tea bag, some paint, some wire, and some fabric scraps. I have chosen to interpret ornamental as an ornament. I've been a bit under the weather for the past month and a half, and you can probably tell that by my voice, it has been in and out. So I wanted to choose something that was quick, easy, and still produced a nice result. So I hope you feel that I have accomplished that. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I put out a bunch of different mixed media ideas. I am all over the place, so I hope you enjoy that and will subscribe to my channel. My appreciation is always there for your comments and your thumbs up. I have started with this wood piece and I printed a vintage Santa off the public domain. So I've just drawn around the outside edge of that wood piece I picked up in, I believe it was a Michaels, back in their wood section where you buy the, the um, little prefab wood pieces. And I am going to adhere it to this wood panel, this uh, paper piece that I printed on my laser printer, not my laser printer, my inkjet printer. And I'm just going to glue it down. What I showed you before was my encaustic medium setup. I have melted a combination of beeswax and Damar resin on an electric griddle that I have sitting here on my workbench. And we will be utilizing that to coat this paper glued onto this piece of wood. So to get started, we'll let that paste dry and I'm going to take my painter's tape and go around the outside edges of this piece to avoid those wax strips down the side. I'm fusing that first coat of wax we just put on with my heat gun. I'm going to let that cool down a bit and bring my um, fabric in, which is this burlap. Put a piece of deli paper over the top of it and press it hard into that cooled wax with my brayer. So let's do that once again and just get some texture into that wax. I am fusing it and when I fuse it after I put the texture in, I fuse but I pull that heat away before that texture goes away. If it goes away, I come back in with the burlap and texture it once again. So wax is very forgiving and you can work with it. If you don't like your results, you can scrape it off and start again. So once I have that texture in that I really like, I want to go around the outside edge with some pan pastel and then fuse that paint, if you will, into into my wax. So where that white outline was showing from my printer paper, I covered that with the pan pastel. And now I'm just going back in with texture once again. And now I'm trying to decide on what to put the year on this. So I think I shall use that tea bag and just stamp 2021 onto that tea bag and that's what I shall use to display the year on this piece. So I'm just getting that ready. And I have a piece of, uh, it's, it's just a piece of canvas scrap that I'm gonna use as a background for that. So I have that laid down. And I'm looking for my glue, or unsticking my glue, if you will. That's what was taking me so long there. So now we have that glued down. Let's just take a look at how it will look here and decide on placement. I've decided to go back in over that texture before I lay it down with some gold. 
and that when you rub that over where that textured is, it picks up the high points of that texture and it looks really good. So I'm starting to become very happy with this. And I'm trying to decide, let's fuse that in, and I'm trying to decide where I want that date to show. And I think I've decided that I want it to kind of be down, down from his little face right here, kind of on the side. So what I have done, I'm go or what I am going to do, I am going to affix that, not with glue, not with wax, but by drilling holes through the piece and adhering it with a brad. So off to the drill press I went, and I've drilled a couple of holes. And I'm just kind of going through those holes with my pokey tool here to, to make sure they're good and clear. And I have these little uh, coppery brass looking uh, vintage brads that appear to be about the right size to fit through the size of hole I drilled. So we'll kind of ream those out, those holes out just a, a little bit and um, pull those through with the pliers and fasten, fasten that on. And I went to kind of fray that fabric and, you know, this is a vintage sand and we, want, we don't want this to look like it's brand new. So I'm just coming back in with a little more gold, a little more glitter, a little more glam. It is the holiday. Let's fuse that in. And now I, I need to finish the back. I, I don't like, I, you know, I don't want that to swing on my, my tree and have this ugly back. So I have this paper bag, which I'm adding into my list of things that I used. And I'm cutting it out in that oval shape. And I'll just paste that onto the back with that. Uh, well, actually I decided it looks like I'm using the glitter glue instead of the yes paste. So we'll get that glitter glue on the back, get this paper bag adhered. And it looks like I got a little overhanded with the uh, glue. So we, we took some of that off with that hotel key card. Let's just trim that up. and distress it a bit with this vintage photo ink, which is a great way to make this age a bit. Make sure everything is glued down properly and just give it a little bit of finishing touches. And now we need to decide how we're going to hang this thing. So I have drilled a hole here in the center of the top. And I just twisted the end of this copper wire. And I'm going to twist it, pull it through, and create a little loop at the top and then pull it back through that same hole, cut it off and just twist it into this really funky little, um, no true structure kind of wire twist.
And there you have it. So now let's thread our twine through that little spot we made. Tie it off in a bow. This is just jute. And I want to twist the ends of that jute and fray that out. You could take a comb and comb through that and really fray it out. But there, now you have the finished piece. And on the ends of that wire, I'm just taking that wax and just creating a little dollop of wax on the end of each of those wires just to kind of finish it off. And now, why not stamp a little Happy Holiday cinnamon on the back? And that is my version of ornamental for this video hop. And I hope you will please look in the description below and hop through all of the other creatives. I've seen some previews of some of the things they're coming up with. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I think you will truly enjoy. We all have a different interpretation. Everybody has taken this off into a lot of other facets. So I think you will enjoy it. I am so happy that you joined me on this video. Please hop through to the rest of the gals and I thank you very much and a huge thank you to PM Artist Studio for putting this all together for us. So once again, bye for now.